All right, guys, moment of truth. Both mirrors are installed, looking good. All the door panels are back on. So here we go, let's test them. All right, we got passenger. Down. Up. Left. Right. Nice, all right, driver. Up, down, uh-oh, oh man, <laughs> side to side don't work, great. Hey, what's up guys? I'm Dan H and welcome back to the project. So in this video, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take off the mirrors that I just installed. These were the limited mirrors with the memory function. Uh, I replaced the Laredo mirrors that were the ugly textured black ones. And this was the restored ones that I painted all nice to match. Um, they look great, unfortunately. <laughs> they don't work. Well, one doesn't work. The side to side function uh, does not work. And I swear I tested these. I test everything. You guys know this. I use my power supply and I make sure everything works before I install it. Somewhere along the line, the mirror crapped out. Um, the motor crapped out, so I gotta fix the side-to-side -side function of this mirror. So um, while we're at it, I guess I'll show you the memory function and what you guys could do to make sure your memory function doesn't um, glitch out. I think from all the years of use and all the crud gets in there and uh, it blocks the contact. So we're gonna take a look at what's inside these memory mirrors and uh, if you guys want to rebuild yours and fix your memory function, this video might help. So all right, we're gonna take these off again and we're gonna dig in. All right, guys, we're pros at taking out these door panels by now. I'm just gonna use a screwdriver, pop out this little tab, put that to the side. We got some more little trim. We're gonna remove, careful, these kind of fly all over. Don't lose these pieces. Uh, one more plastic cap right here. And this will expose your screws. Now we're gonna unscrew it. Up here, I'm gonna put all my screws on the floorboard over here so I don't lose them. This one over here. This one over here. And the one by the handle. All right, four screws are out. And we're just gonna pry up the panel. There we go. Pop them free. Give it a lift upwards. There we go. Lift it up and over the door handle and you could go ahead and you can take off your plugs in here for the uh, mirror and the plugs in here for the door controls. There we go. Panel is off. And now I got my wire exposed. You got your nuts right here. You're gonna love my nuts. And I'm gonna use a 10 millimeter impact. And don't worry if you drop them, there's a tray in here. <laughs> so the ZJ is great like that. And the last one's up here. And in this video, I remember to leave the window open so you can catch when this comes out. There you go. There you go, All right through. And my mirror's out. All right guys, we got our mirror off. Here it is, it's looking nice. This was the restored one, painted, clear coated with new glass. Um, and I have to take it out again, <laughs> go figure. Uh, you're gonna want a nice soft cloth. Uh, I'm using a ShamWow. ShamWow, you'll be saying wow every time you use this towel. <laughs> because you don't want to scratch your nice newly painted and clear coated mirror. So this is going to go right down here and we're going to get the glass off. So uh, we're going to slide it down and we should be able to pop it right up forward. So let me grab a screwdriver. All right, got my screwdriver. So I'm just going to pry up gently. There we go. That should unlock the mirror give it a little help it's got these little tracks you want to slide it up and then you can lift it up there we go 
detached. Now, if you guys have seen my mirror restoration video, you will know that the glass does not slide out this easily with the factory glue. Um, it's only coming out this easy because I made sure to not put double-sided adhesive on these little tabs. So, uh, if you're going to take your mirror out for the first time to fix your motors, you might want to have those backup mirrors ready to go so you can put in new glass and... Uh, you will be able to fix it if you break the glass. So I'll leave the link in the description below to new glass. So hopefully you guys won't break it. But again, it is difficult. It is not this easy the first time you do this. All right, guys. So inside your mirror, there is a couple of screws you're going to have to remove. And they are back behind these little holes. Uh, it's filthy. It's full of spray paint. But trust me, they're there. We're going to get to them with a T10. So uh, let's see. We're gonna go ahead and find the T10s. Here's one. Here's another one. There we go. There it comes. Ta-da! Rip that off. Here's that auto dimming wire. It's haunting me because I can't fix it. <laughs> I was talking to uh, Chill Groot, I believe is his handle, and I believe that's uh, part of his name. He's from the Netherlands, and he is on a hunt for an original ZJ mirror that has the auto-dimming feature with the electrochromic gel in it. Uh, I still think there's some out there. If you hunt one down, you could probably find an original OEM mirror from the factory, but they're like 200 something dollars, and it's, uh, geez, I don't know if that's worth it, and even I'm going to say that it's rough. But hey, buddy, if you're watching this, I will keep my eyes open for you, and I'll send you one if I come across it. So, all right, now we got all those plugs off this. We're going to slide the wire out of here, and you just got to punch in this little boot. So, I'm going to push the boot in like so. Come on, boot. There we go. Slide everything right out through. There we go. Finally, that's out. And I'm going to go take this mirror and I'm going to put this in a safe place. All right, so here are the four screws that initially held this into the mirror housing. Uh, there are some more screws in here. Uh, most of them you could get to like this right here, but there are a couple behind this uh, plate. So I'm going to go ahead and gently remove this plate. Um, it's really hard to see, but I'm going to try to get a screwdriver in here and gently push off these tabs and that will release this plate just gonna pry these up there we go one two three four and the middle should just pop right off there we go put this to the side now we're going to slide out this boot. This boot keeps junk out of the motor, so try not to rip it. Just kind of stretch it around these pieces, and it will come off. There we go. She's bootless. And here we go. Now let's access all these screws, and we'll take this apart. All right, screws are out. Let's open this bad boy up. Cool. Look at that. These are the motors. Looks like this blue is a uh, common ground. Look at all these memory chips in here. That's for the uh, memory function. Now, if your motor works, but your memory function sometimes spazzes out, you kind of want to make sure that these arms make good contact with the chip, and we'll take a closer look at that in a minute. 
All right, guys, I went ahead and took the liberty of taking apart my other mirror off camera because I don't want to bore you with the same stuff twice. But here we go. Same exact setup, only the non-memory mirrors are missing those memory chips. So we're going to go ahead and take off these motors. We're going to test them. We're going to swap them out as needed. We're going to make sure all the motors work when we put everything back together on our memory mirror. So let's go ahead and test these. Got my trusty Longway power supply hooked up. Uh, go get yourself one. I got a link in the description. Uh, it's awesome. See that, guys? Switch positive with negative, and it goes the reverse direction. So we know this one works. Now let's try the left to right controls. See that? We got nothing. There we go. Bad motor. Time to replace it. All right, so here are the motors on the other one. That works. And that works. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this motor where that be. <laughs> All right. All right, so I'm just gonna gently lift out this motor. There we go. And that comes right out. I'm gonna go ahead and snip this and these. Say bye-bye to the bad motor and the good motor. There we go. Strip this as one. We will maintain its oneness. Go ahead and make these two together. We'll cut some of this in half, and we'll use blue for the shrink wrap tubing. Shrink wrap tubing. I'm going to weave this onto itself. All right, that definitely wasn't my finest job, but let's reassemble this thing. All right, we've got the motor reattached. Now, these little black strips on this chip is what detects the position your mirror is in through little contacts on the arms. So you're going to want to make sure this chip is clean, free of debris. Um, you're also going to want to make sure you don't scratch it. You're going to want to make sure that it's in good condition. Um, you could use a little dielectric grease as well on this if it's pretty dirty, clean it up, put some grease on. Um, but if this chip is broken, I'm really not sure what you guys could do. You might just need a whole nother mirror. So here we go, we're gonna put this back in, back together. Uh, hopefully your chips are in good shape. And we'll go ahead and drop the motors in. And here we go guys, here is the contacts. These contacts are on the arms and they're very tiny as you can see, they're very brittle. Uh, these contacts uh, touch those little strips on the chips we just saw earlier. And this is what tells your Jeep where exactly your mirror is. So if it's not where it should be, it will adjust until the contacts line up in the spot where you set it at. So very important that these are connected, very important that they're clean and you might need to gently bend them out so they're closer to the chip. They make harder contact with the chip, but be very, very careful. 
Again, just like the chip, if you break it, uh, you probably can't replace just these arms. You're going to have to get a whole nother mirror, and this one could be part. So, yep, let's uh, get this all back together. I'll just kind of slide them on and drop this in. There's one. And the other. Okay, you're gonna want to make sure your gears are in place too, seated properly, and I'm gonna go ahead and add the cap back. And you're gonna want to make sure your wires are not pinched, so double check them. All right, got everything in there. Now I'm gonna reattach some screws. <laughs> Alright, got all six screws in. Before we go any further, I'm just gonna test them to make sure it works. So here we go. Get my power pack on, and I'm looking for, let's see, what was the common? And I'm gonna go white with blue, and then I'm gonna go yellow with blue, so. Alright. That works this way. Works the other way. Now let's go yellow. All right. That worked, man. We did it. All right, now we need a boot. So I'm gonna go wipe off some of this junk on this boot, just to clean it up a little bit. <sighs> wipe off the spiders. <laughs> And uh, I guess it really doesn't matter which way it goes, as long as it covers this. So we'll just put on our boot. Stretches right over. There we go. And the boot is on. Now we need our little plate. So go ahead and click this on the middle right here. Good, that pops in. And we'll just click in all four corners. Great. Let's put her back in the housing. All right, so we got our housing. And we're going to fish our wires right back through. All right, so we're gonna put this back now. And again, we wanna make sure we got our top in the right spot. So top right here under this glue. And we're gonna make sure we got our wires coming out of the bottom area still. And let's see, how does this go? Line this up over here. Kind of just sits in its place I guess it feels a little off get that wire out of the way there we go now we can drop in our screws and I say that literally because this plate is in the way so we're gonna drop it in and hope it lines up give it a little flick there we go there's one We'll go for two. And if you can't see the hole, because that boot's in the way, just unsquish the boot. There we go. And you can drop it in. There. There we go. <laughs> it is back on. Okay, let's just uh, tilt this downward. And let's try to get our mirror on. 
Where did I put that mirror? Here we go. Mirror on again. We'll go ahead and connect these. Okay. Now we just gotta feel for it. There we go. Got it. And I also got all my grubby fingerprints on it. <laughs> there we go. And of course, one more quick test before we put it back on. Good. And the other direction. Good. All right. Now, before I forget, which I just did, <laughs> gotta retape these clips on so we can keep the wire in place. Okay, back on the ZJ. All right, here's what the mirror holes look like from the outside. Now is a good time to give this a good wipe down if you wish. Of course, I'm gonna clean it up a little bit. And uh, first you go ahead and you insert your wires into the big hole. And then, easy as pie, you line up your mirror into the other holes. There it is. Make my way around it. Hold it right here. And I'm gonna put on some nuts. Getting our memory mirror back on. There we go. That's one. Now we can take our time with the other three. Always hand tighten it first. Before you use power tools because you don't want to cross thread it. And we just got to get one at the top. All right. Now, again, <laughs> I'll try to put on this. Uh, this helps keep wind noise out. So, I'm going to do my best to try to make this hole again. Ugh. All right, hate saying it, but yeah, it's good enough. And we're gonna go ahead and plug in our Christmas trees. And we're gonna come down around here. And here we go, guys. Here is the plug for the auto dimming feature. Now this gets its power from the heated, not heated, uh, auto dimming mirror. Um, again, this is a slave to the mirror. It does whatever the Rear view mirror, sorry, the rear view mirror tells it to do. So we're gonna just plug this in, even though I disconnected that function, that feature. We're just gonna plug it in, pretend it's there anyway. Probably broke a long time ago. There we go. And the wire comes out the bottom. All right, good, we got our memory mirror on. It's looking good. Everything's tested, it works. So, now we can put on our door panel with the memory mirror pod switch, right there. So, first we're gonna attach these wires. This is the mirror wire and your uh, control wire. That plugs in right there. Get this around our window, our door handle. Make sure this lines up. And we're gonna go around the door, pushing in our clips. Just wanna line them up with your holes before you go ahead and punch it in so you don't break them. go. One, two, three, and four. Now we gotta put in this little plate. Snaps right on. And these little caps. 
Those also snap right on. Very nice. Door panels on. So, all right, guys, here we go. Switch this to passenger. We're going to recheck the passenger mirror. So, we're going to go side, side, up, down. Great. This one still works. <laughs> Fantastic. All right. Now, moment of truth again. Driver's side. Here we go. Up, down. Come on, baby. All right. We got left. And we got right. Beautiful. It works. All right. So now that we got the mirrors all out of whack, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to position them to a place I like. Let's see. My vantage point. We're going to go right about here. Passenger side. Let's say this is a nice safe place. So we got the mirrors where we want them. I'm just gonna put this back to neutral. Now I'm gonna press set. Memory function is gonna blink. And then I'm gonna press one. That's gonna be my number one setting. So now, when the mirrors get all out of whack, let's see, let's point them straight up to the sky and out. I'll do the same thing for this one. Up to the sky and out. Now all you gotta do is press boom, one. And it goes right back to where you need it. <laughs> Fantastic. All right guys, so here we go. We got the mirrors rebuilt with new motors, all cleaned up, the memory function works, side to side, left to right works. This is a complete video, <laughs> all right. All right, guys, that's a wrap for this second ZJ mirror video. Uh, this wasn't exactly the mirror video I wanted to originally upload, but I think this one works out a lot better because the other video was just going to be taking off the Laredo textured mirrors and putting these on. Um, this, you get to see the inner workings of these mirrors, um, which is probably a better video. So if you guys have uh, problems with your memory function, uh, this might help you be able to take it apart and rebuild it, cleaning up those contacts, getting it to work, getting the contacts to recognize its location, and that might prevent the mirrors from, you know, going cockeyed on it, going haywire. So that's going to be it for this one. Um, remember to like and subscribe. Stay tuned for more content. I'm cleaning up the backyard. I'm preparing to dig into this XJ build. I know all you guys ask for is the XJ build. I promise it's coming. Uh, I got an adventure video coming up. Um, we're going to Connecticut, so that's going to be great. And um, let's see. Yeah. Oh, I have some XK content coming up. Going to be working on the Commander, doing a couple things. So uh, yeah, that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to like, subscribe, go into the description, grab some stickers, and that's it. I will see you guys on the next project. Peace.